welcome back my dear friends so today i am with the another video which is for the mathematics first for computer science and engineering department actually which you was uh, firstly uh, setting up the papers for m1 for all the branches it was same uh, but now uh, nowadays which you has changed the scheme also and it is the 22 scheme and they have changed the whole subject course over there and there is a little bit difference uh, no uh, no difference in the all modules actually one uh, module is different uh, from the other branches uh, over there so uh, today in this video i want to discuss how to pass this mathematics first with ease with a little bit content over there so that you will find ease uh, to pass this particular subject uh, so my dear friends uh, let's start without wasting a time so this is the module first and you have to cover uh, some theory concepts over there some derivations over there which are the most important ones so first of all with the usual notation prove that tan phi is equal to r d theta by dr it is one of the most important questions uh, as far as the video examination is concerned as it was in the m1 also 18 scheme maths it was the definite question over there so uh, same trend uh, will follow uh, which you will follow over here also in the 22 scheme so this is the most important question you have to prove that tan phi is equal to r d theta by dr if you want to pass it actually backlog uh, students uh, face much problems in the vtu examination actually vtu sets the unexpected papers for the backlog students actually the case uh, should be reversed uh, the uh, papers should be easy for the backlog students but uh, vtu is not setting papers like that in the backlog uh, they are just making papers as much as tough as possible okay so you have to be very serious in this particular examination otherwise you will lose the interest uh, later on okay so focus on this particular question that is with usual notation prove that tan phi is equal to r d theta by dr okay so then find the angle between curves uh, there are some sort of problems a uh, variety of problems over there you just try on so i have taken here the example so r is equal to a log of theta and r is equal to theta divided by log of theta so my dear friend just do three or four problems variety of problems are there you cannot uh, focus on all the problems just try three or four problems these are very simple concepts over there that is define the angle between curves okay then also another important question that is show that the radius of curvature at any point theta on the cycloid suppose i have taken here the equation x is equal to a of theta plus sine theta comma y is equal to a into 1 minus cos of theta is 4a cos theta by 2 so these are the examples over here so you have to uh, show that the radius of curvature at any point on the uh, cycloid okay by these two equations so these uh, three concepts are there which are very 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 much important over there so then find the radius of curvature of the curve suppose y is equal to x cube into x minus a at the point a comma zero points will be given so you have to find the radius of curvature okay so these uh, four concepts are enough uh, for the module first you can easily score 15 or 16 marks in this particular module my dear friends then you should go through the module fifth which is the passing module very easy module you can easily score 20 marks in this uh, module fifth over there okay so 20 marks are just in your pocket okay my dear friends so this is the linear algebra okay linear alge uh, algebra it deals with the all sort of matrix matrices over there that is uh, first one question is uh, find the rank of the matrix matrix suppose example will be given i have taken here the example uh, 2 4 3 6 2 8 6 4 5 2 3 1 10 to uh, 1 8 by elementary transformation by changing the rows by changing the columns you can find out the rank of the matrix and you know all already the concept of the rank of matrix you have to make uh, the lower triangular matrix as zero so this is the di if i consider this as the diagonal over here then you have to make these uh, what we call as members uh, as zero these uh, five members you should six sorry six members you have to make zero then you can find the rank of the matrix as you know what is the rank of the matrix if i just make a one word definition of the rank of the matrix then uh, it will be easy to say over here the non-zero rows uh, which contains uh, some other number than zero so that are called the non-zero rows okay so uh, the non-zero rows left in the matrix is called the rank of matrix okay so you have it is a very simple con uh, what we call as concept if you want to uh, so if you want separate video also for the rank of matrix it uh, as it contains six marks or seven marks here i can make uh, make se separate video for this uh, particular rank of matrix over here just comment down my dear friends okay then 
in the matrix part solo equations by gauss jordan method okay so this is also an uh, again an easy uh, easy part over here so equations will be given so suppose i have taken here uh, two sets of equations that is x plus y plus z is equal to 9 2x plus y minus z is equal to 0 2x plus 5y plus 7z is equal to 52 this is one set of equations and another set is x plus y plus z is equal to 10 2x minus y plus 3z is equal to 19 x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 22 you have to just make the matrices of these particular equations then you have to follow the same procedure that is the uh, what we call as transformation of rows and you have to apply some operations on rows over there so that you can easily find out uh, the answers by the gauss jordan method over there okay then focus on the eigenvalue and eigenvector problems okay in the first part you don't have to leave any part in this particular module that is the uh, linear algebra over here as it is the passing module my dear friends if you just uh, make mistake in this particular module it will be very difficult to pass uh, this particular subject okay then in our part you can uh, just refer these particular topics that is solo equations by gauss seidel method and it is again an important question okay suppose i had taken example here 10x plus y plus z is equal to 12 x plus 10 y plus z is equal to 12 and x plus y plus 10 z is equal to 12 so you have to apply gauss seidel method over here by uh, so what we call as you can find out the solutions with ease okay then also an easy method over there that is solve the following system of equations by gauss elimination method okay so again uh, i have taken example so i don't want to elaborate it so that the video will get long so uh, next part is using modern mathematical tool write a program or code to find the largest eigenvalue of uh, this particular matrices by the uh, power method that is Rayleigh's power method is there so you have to find out uh, this sorry you have to write uh, the program over there as you are the cs uh, uh, students computer science so you have to deal with the programs or codes over there so this will be easy for you to cover over there okay my dear friends so this is the what we call the fifth module okay then second module comes up and it is a, a heading is the series expansion and multivariable calculus so this is the chap uh, name of the chapter over here so uh, focus on the mclaren series problems these are easy ones if you are good in trigonometric identities so you can easily solve this type of particular question that is mclaren series suppose uh, x plan log of 1 plus sin x by mclaren series up to the term containing x raised power 4 sometimes they will ask log of sec x uh, log of 1 plus cos x so uh, four or five problems you just focus on you just try practice so that you will easily understand the mclaren series concept okay this is most important one so don't leave uh, this particular question in this module my dear friends if you want to pass it then um, some uh, what we call as derivations are over there so i have taken here uh, u is equal to log of 10 x plus 10 y plus 10 z show that sine of 2x dou u by dou x plus sine 2y dou u by dou y plus sine of 2z dou u by dou z is equal to 2 this is one of the important derivations in this particular module so three or four derivations are there you just try uh, two or three so that it will be easy for you to tackle this particular derivation then some extreme values of functions uh, suppose equation is f of x plus x comma y x square plus y square plus 6 x minus 12 so uh, try uh, three or four problems for this concept as it is one of the most important questions carry seven marks over there you have to find maximum minima over there it is all purely based on the 12th class concept okay then module three comes up it is a ordinary differential equation of the first order it is very simple one it is of the first order not second third or fourth so uh, this concept is very 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 easy my dear friends so exact and reducible to exact differential equations it is the uh, name of the concept over here you have to uh, just derive uh, sorry differentiate uh, m with respect to y and uh, n with respect to x then n with respect to x and m with respect to y okay if you find uh, this type of derivation then you can just simply put it in this particular equation so that you can easily uh, what we call as tackle the problem so the problems will be like solo dy by dx plus y by x uh, is equal to x square plus x square y uh, raised power 6 and again uh, second example dy by dx plus y by x is equal to y square by sorry y square x okay these are two types of problems and uh, just go through three or four problems on this particular concept so that it will be easy for you my dear friends it is very simple concept okay so you have to name it first m and n like that then you have to differentiate it okay 
so then find the orthogonal trajectories of the family suppose equations will be given like uh, r is power n sine n theta is equal to a n so r is equal to a into 1 plus cos of n theta where a is parameter okay so these are the two uh, two problems i have taken here so you have to focus on this also orthogonal trajectories this question will be in both parts or uh, or parts okay so you have to focus on the orthogonal trajectories also so this is all about the third module then the uh, module 4 comes up it is the new module for all the students as this module is different from other branches okay this is for few, uh, for the cs uh, cs branch students so this is a uh, modular arithmetic so you have to solve some uh, polynomials over there but focus on this type uh, that is finding remainders of the numbers okay finding remainders of the numbers uh, suppose they will give you the number uh, suppose I will take over here uh, 8628 you have to find out the reminders of this particular number or 17 to 36 on to 20 into 20 you have to find out the remainders okay these are the easy ones but focus on these this will be in both parts okay it carries seven marks and also focus on this part find the last digit of the number example 13 raised power 37 I have taken from the model question paper and uh, 7 raised power uh, 2013 so this much is the enough content to pass this particular module you have to focus on otherwise it will be very difficult for you people to pass this and if you want to just refer the notes uh, there are non availability of the notes for the 22 scheme students you can just go through 18 scheme notes as uh, four modules are the same as far as the uh, mathematics one is concerned of the 18 scheme you just go through az notes of uh, what we call 18 scheme so that you can find these to topics and just try out so that uh, you will easily uh, concur you kill you will easily kill the subject this time hope so you will do it so thanks for watching my video and do subscribe my channel if you are new to my channel and share this video to your batchmates so that they can avail benefits from this uh, particular content over here so thank you